The Kansas football program has its quarterback in the class of 2023. On Thursday, three-star signal caller Kaysen Wiseman made his commitment to Kansas public, giving the Jayhawks nine verbal commitments in the class of 2023. And this one was a full-fledged effort from the KU staff to some current KU commits as well to get Wiseman on board. Starting with the commit aspect of things, usually a quarterback is an early commit during a cycle, but Kaysen Wiseman took his time with his decision, and in turn, it allowed KU's wide receiver commits like Siraz Buncombe and Keaton Kubeka to recruit Wiseman to come be their quarterback. From the staff's perspective, they extended the offer to Wiseman back in February, and quarterbacks coach Jim Zabrowski was the one that headlined this recruitment. Other coaches like offensive coordinator Andy Kodronecki and head coach Lance Leipold also played a role in getting Wiseman on board for KU. Looking at his recruiting profile, Wiseman has an extensive offer list with over 20-plus programs extending him an opportunity to play at their college. Now, the offer list doesn't have a ton of Power 5 opportunities on it. Cal is his only other Power 5 offer, but it's safe to say that Wiseman was a highly coveted prospect. When you look at his ranking, the 24-7 sports staff gives him a rating of an 85, which makes him a solid, solid prospect. And he's just outside the top 50 in terms of the national quarterback rankings when you look at his ability compared to some other players. When you look at what he did last year at South Paulding there in Georgia, he threw for over 2,000 yards with 17 touchdowns and six interceptions but he also added eight touchdowns on the ground. And I think we're starting to see a, see a theme here with some of Kansas quarterbacks commits. You look at someone like Ethan Vasco last year, even someone like Jason Bean or Jalen Daniels, they all have this ability to move in the pocket, create plays with their legs, but they also have quick releases as well. And this is a player that KU was able to get to see in person at one of their camps over the summer. And that's another emerging theme here, where several of KU's commits now have been guys they've seen in camp. And Wiseman had the opportunity to go and throw in front of some of the coaches there at the Friday Night Lights camp as well. And when you look at what Wiseman brings, it's some of that dynamic athleticism that the KU staff seems to like at the quarterback position. But he also has a very quick release, which will be good for KU's quick game that they run with some of those crossing routes over the middle. So now... You're looking at Wiseman joining KU's class and being one of these guys that can go and recruit other players as KU tries to round out this class in the coming months. Overall, Wiseman's a quality addition for KU, and you have to take a quarterback every cycle with the transfer portal, and you just don't know how things are going to play out. So getting Wiseman on board is big. He can now go help KU recruit some offensive linemen, but it also gives KU another body with some high upside in the quarterback's room as well. On Fog.net, you can check out plenty of stories, including an interview with Wiseman where you get to know him a little bit better and also some analysis for myself and our recruiting analyst, Andrew Ivins. As always, stay tuned to Fog.net for the latest Kansas football, Kansas basketball, and recruiting coverage.